welcome. Everyone was here early today. Little early birds. Hi Gracelyn, hi Rochelle, hi Elaine. Hi Kiwi, hi Helen. Hi Abby. Uh, who else has popped in there? <laughs> so uh, today we're doing a colouring chat. Um, and there's a reason why we're doing that. <laughs> My head's totally not with it. I had some drama this morning, so I've sort of been a little bit out of it and um, I'm back and I'm going to try to get involved and get, <laughs> get into this beautiful image. Hi guys. Welcome. Welcome guys. Um, so uh, Monia Gates, I did a love on fire image for her event uh, a couple of weeks ago and I actually won a prize in the event uh, because I already had the book that the prize was uh, for Monia sent me another one of her books so today I thought we would color an image from that and I'll do a bit of a flip through as well for you so I don't have a free image or giveaway today it is really just a color in chat and um, I want to thank you all for coming so welcome and thank you <laughs> uh, it's all right Abby it's all good uh, <laughs> things happen uh, Facebook is a breeding ground for rude and mean people and um, yeah <laughs> it's all good <laughs> we get through don't we we do what we can anyway unfortunately the more people that you have the more drama that can end up unfolding so Oh, good. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been busy. I haven't actually done much coloring this week. I did a little bit. I finished off a beautiful image uh, by Anastasia Koldeva, which I will be releasing later on in the next couple of weeks. And um, the rest of the weekend, I've spent uh, cleaning my little studio area and uh, working out that I think I need to move my stuff because I have too much stuff and not enough room. Uh, but anyway, that's what I've been doing this weekend. So busy going through everything, sorting things out, trying to make things a little bit more accessible for me while I'm live uh, and make it a little bit easier for you guys as well when I'm doing that. So that's what I've been doing. And it's actually Labor Day today here in Australia. So it's actually a public holiday. So um, I have everybody home as well. So more drama no not really my family are absolutely awesome they're incredibly supportive and incredibly helpful and I love them all so much so um yeah guys here I am hi Nana thank you for coming welcome can never have too much that's right hi guys welcome hi Linda welcome <laughs> Loretta hi so yeah that's the reason I'm a little bit out of it this morning and also why I've decided to do this image so very exciting I've decided to use markers um I hope that I can do it justice you know you uh get images and you're not sure you know <laughs> if you can do it well um well, that's me today. So I've actually decided to make this a blue wren. I don't think it's tails quite as long as our blue wrens here in Australia, but um, I think I think we can just make it a little blue bird anyway. And um, I'm not sure what color will do the water. I haven't really sort of got that in my head yet. <laughs> I've got you know bits and pieces going here. Ah, you are visiting. Well, that's awesome, Linda. <laughs> yes, and congratulations to you. <laughs> it's a uh, very um very exciting having grandbabies, I'm sure. <laughs> um, so yeah the image is by Monia Gates I was just saying if you've just popped in that I actually won the Love on Fire 
image thing and uh, she sent me a book so the book that I'm going to do a flip through of today is of that and uh, this is one of the images out of it I actually really liked this one um, it had lots of different things in it not just uh, not just people <laughs> there was a couple of cars in this one uh, some birds some uh, flowers some like different sort of I guess surreal sort of images as well um, and a couple of nice portrait sort of things as well so it was a bit of a mixture of everything in this one which I really liked and um, I always do portraits and things so I've decided to go with a bird <laughs> I think we'll give that a go oh that's good news uh, Linda and of course she's all babies are cute <laughs> hi Terry welcome hi Dawn welcome I saw you pop in there Who's listening? <laughs> oh dear. The crazies. Yep. <laughs> Linda's had some wonderful news. It's a reason to be busy. Um, so, a bluebird. Right. Let me have a look. So the ones I was looking at was something uh, that we have quite a bit of here in Australia actually, a blue wren. Here he is, he's pretty cute. Um, this is just a good, good image by, let's have a look, I cannot read, Rod somebody. But um, I'm only going to uh, look at this one for the colours. So obviously it's not going to be the same, but just for an idea of what to use where. So. I think we'll do the dark colors last and I think I'll go in with the light colors first on this one so what was her name did I actually ask that Isabel oh beautiful 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 I'm gonna start with a little bit of B60 and uh, also, I've had to move my lights around and I'm not sure if it's quite bright enough, but uh, I think I've got the auto bright on and that might annoy me. I might have to turn that off later. So we're doing a reflection image. So this is water, the bird's drinking from the water, and this is a bird's reflection. We're actually going to do the exact same colors on each side, but uh, we may make this side a lot lighter being on the water reflection. So, um, but we'll go from we'll just go from there <laughs> um all right so i'm gonna start on the tail first this is kind of a purplish blue i've got messages coming through and i'm really trying hard to ignore them <laughs> just not a day for it today <laughs> um all right, we need a little bit of color behind. So I don't know where where are oh, here. I'm just looking at my image, trying to figure out where is what. Okay, I'm going to do the same on the bottom. A little bit under the eye and some on the wing okay so I'm going to try to keep doing it you know <laughs> like that <laughs> all right um, I need some blues now so there's a really nice bright blue on top of his head um, so I'm going to do a B23 in the very edges. So doing the same on this side. So just remembering that it's the opposite. <laughs> Hi Sean, welcome. And I think I do want a little bit of that here in the back. Uh, 
Hmm. I'm thinking that the back will be just dark blue. I'm not sure. I'm kind of looking at some images here and uh, some have got a little bit of brown. Uh, some of them are, oh, here we go, got one. So in this one I'm looking at now, it's got some darker blue down the very middle. So we'll do that. As I said, we're not going to be exact, but uh, we want to try to put similar colors in. <laughs> All right. And do the same down here. So yes, I've had uh, Total Drama Island today. And uh, they're the times when you just want to quit Facebook and I, uh, you know, can see <laughs> the unattraction of it all. And a little bit of that B23 up into the wing there and into the tail. Okay. <laughs> Sean, it wasn't that bad. I guess uh, when I was doing the uh, Arteza brush pens, I was also worried about ruining it because of the black suit type part of it. Um, so <laughs> That's why I was like, okay, if I ruin it, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> uh, they're not... They are, I think, very much more for watercolour. And, um, yeah, I can understand your frustrations. Now, I need something that's quite bright. Um, thinking B00. No, it's okay, Hillary. We've just started, really. I've only used two colours, B63 and B23. And I'm using some B00. There you go, Becky. I'm totally on your side. <laughs> Greta the Goblin. <laughs> ah, Hillary. Um, I love, I love birds. I'm a bit of a bird freak too myself. Uh, we went into the pet shop up here. They had some beautiful hand-reared parrots. I cannot remember for the life of me what kind they were. But uh, they must have been reared by a woman. And um, Hobby was over at the cage, you know, having a chat with them. They are cute little birdies. And then um, I sort of walked over towards them and they just started going crazy trying to get to the side of the cage, trying to make me pat them. They were so gorgeous. I'm afraid my little shadow would eat them. Hence why she doesn't go outside. I'd be so frightened she would eat a bird. You should always put bells on your kitties and keep an eye on them. Especially when it comes to wildlife. I think I could even go a little bit brighter on the top of its head there. So I'm going to go a lighter blue again. Yeah, I know. I am um, a palm cockatoo. Maybe 
in my travels. <laughs> I may have seen one. I'm going to use a little bit of B30 for the very tip there. I've also printed this one on Express It Blending card today. I thought I'd give a different type of paper a go. Put a little bit of that on the tip of the birdie's nosy there. Okay, now I'm going to use this uh, 3 0 on its belly area here. Just coming down on the belly. Just using it to blend out some of the colour in the neck there. Okay, looking good so far. <laughs> oh, yep. Yes, bells are good. <laughs> Uh, doggies, unfortunately, are hard. What was that about new? What did I do? <laughs> What's new? I actually have a, a video here to pop up, but I just have to uh, voice over. I got some products to... Um, to share from uh, Mikador. Oh no, this, oh no. Uh, Express It Blending Card is a paper I've always used, so that's not new. <laughs> um, Express It Blending Card's better to, for learning with markers, I feel. Um, but yeah, no, all good, Sean, not new. Um, all right, I've got some B29. I think a lot of this area is going to be dark. Uh, so down the middle, I just want to make that dark. Express it's really good with, with marker. Um, you don't use as much marker. Um, it's got a really nice uh, finish. You can get several layers on it before it gets sticky. Um, the colour's really vibrant on it. Almost unreal sometimes. But um, when I was doing the Copic certification course, they she had a little bit of Yuppo paper and this paper, and we did some ink pouring on them. And the yuppo, everything just sort of really dulled off and this stayed really bright. So the colour was really nice. Going around the head with this colour. Okay. <laughs> Hi Eva, welcome. Thank you. Yes, we used to have a cat when I lived in the country. It was Tigaris. Tiger. Um, and we had another one called Frizzy Lizzie. They were sisters from a, the same litter. And um, they used to go out and catch rabbits. And the rabbits were like the size of them. They come back trying to drag these rabbits back. 
in their mouths and they're so heavy. <laughs> so just coming in and around the head part there, I'm just going to flick really small flicks up there, create a little bit of texture and then back down. I might just zoom in for you because I just realized I'm so far away there. And some darker patches down in the wings here. I'm just going to cover those two. So yeah, I was quite um, impressed to get this beautiful gift and um, Monia is amazing and her images are beautiful. Just filling in a little bit around this section here and then I think I might make that back section a little bit lighter blue but uh, And I may just go back in with a darker blue just to deepen up some more of the shadow sort of areas. So everyone seemed to love the fishy. Tim Jeffs is amazing. The um, images that he has are absolutely gorgeous. I really enjoyed doing the fish too. Siamese fighting fish. Yeah, Shadow's asleep in my room. Hi guys, hi Dusty. Anyone else who popped in? Oh, is she, Sean? Is he? Sorry. <laughs> Who else popped in? Ew, right. Um, Dusty, Eva... Awesome. Hello, peoples. Yeah, Sean, uh, the uh, Anki the Strange or the East Wind. Um, one of my very first tutorials was using an image from them. I think it was Lulu, the image. Uh, it's a picture of a girl with the... Um, braid over her face. <laughs> Sorry, I'll just turn it that way a little bit. Better. So don't forget, every time you use a colour, you've got to mirror it on the opposite side. Hi Tracy, welcome. I'm going to give that one a go with markers I think. Spellbound. Got quite a few images on my to do list actually. I've got a couple of images from the Beyond Coloring group, and I know I've printed out more <laughs> to do. Uh, it's just one of those mornings. Who 
berries. Just making sure it'll come up from there a little bit. Just making it deeper around the head there like I did up here. Well, it's hard doing it uh, the opposite way, isn't it? <laughs> that we're turning it upside down and repeating it that way. Maybe that might help. I don't know. It's not really helping. <laughs> Just pretending it is. Upside down is not easier. Well, not for me anyway. I always turn my paper in the direction where my flicks are going. Um, or where it's easy for me to flick. So if I'm flicking one way and it's easier to do it that way, then I'll turn my paper around and do it the way that's easiest. It seems this birdie's mirror isn't exactly the same, but it's almost the same. So I'm just going in and doing the tail feather pieces. So I've already sort of marked out a lot of the back wing here as well. Beautiful. So yeah, I'll do a flip through of it, uh, the book in a minute too. I've got uh, a flip through there so you can have a look what else is in the book. But um, yeah, I really like it. It's got lots of different things in it. I think I've got it fairly close. If not, it will do. Um, I think that's actually all connected there. Okay. Yeah. Looking good. Okay, now I need a darker blue because some of it's really black. Thanks, Helen. Uh, yeah, this is color my color my dreams. I think it is. Hang on, let me grab it. I have, I have it all here. It's from Color My Dreams 1 by Monia Gates. I'll give you the link for the book. Um, and I'll do a flip through in the middle there so you guys can have a look too. Um, and uh, I've also popped all of the details in the description as well. Now I want to put a really dark sort of stripe through here. Uh, this is one of my broken brush nibs it um it sort of bent and uh broken i need 
to fix it. We'll replace it. But yeah. Hi guys. Welcome. Hi Susie, welcome. Tracy, I did a lot of um, online stuff and a lot of practice of my own sort of style. Um, I did a little bit of a couple of classes in Kit and Clouder. Um, and I sort of found that I didn't want to be, I mean, it, it's great, everybody has their own sort of style, but I, I found it too difficult to be extremely neat and precise. I don't think I'm that type of person. So um, I ended up finding another uh, online course by uh, Christopher. <sighs> I can't remember his last name. <laughs> um, and he his style resonated a little bit better with me because he's quite uh, rough and um <laughs> and I like that so and um the rest of it was really just learning like just picking it up and like looking at say water and then trying to recreate it using markers so trying to recreate the same look and practice 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 um My advice is don't uh, don't try to conform to someone's style. Like if you're, you know, you see something that you like and you find a different way to do it that you feel better about, then you should do that. It's so hard. People think that uh, you have to do things a certain way, but that's not the case. I hope that makes a little bit of sense and helps you out a little bit. <laughs> keep trying other things, you know, you keep trying. If something doesn't work one way, try it a different way. say shop around so uh, my patreon I do do um, some like technique videos and go into markers a little bit there's a marker basics thing in there and a few other things but um, my advice is always to everybody to just play with it practice um, you don't have to show everybody all of your images you know mine weren't that great at the start and some of mine still don't turn out all that great um, sometimes you know you put a color with another color and it really doesn't look right but that happens so just don't worry I guess Yeah, I have Loretta. He's awesome. Um, and that's the thing, like, and he can do it with plain copy paper. I struggle with some papers, but I really like others. And that's the same for everybody. I would suggest if you're learning, though, to, to get something like Express It, uh, because the color doesn't bleed and you don't have to sort of learn to manipulate it on this type of paper. Uh, this paper is awesome for learning. Um, and then obviously I've moved on to Nina, which is a little bit harder to use, I think, with Copics because it's a little bit drier and because um, it's got a bit, a tiny bit of a tooth on it. But um, I like the color that comes out on it, so that's why I use it. Yep. 
Yeah, Linda, it's so strange. It's just moved straight across Victoria, hasn't it? Yeah, that's right, Loretta. Um, it's something that's a learned thing. You can't just sort of go in and expect to be able to use them on marker paper, on um, copy paper, just like that. Uh, as I said, I sort of learned with, with Express It. And then as I started playing with Nina a little bit more, um, and I liked the fact that I could use a bit of marker and pencil on the same paper. You can use, uh, I can use a tiny little bit of pencil on this paper as well, but I find the effects aren't as good. Pablo seemed to work okay over the top of these markers on Express It, but I couldn't go and do an in-depth sort of section of um, blending or anything with pencil on this paper. It's just far too smooth. There's somebody else I saw that uses copy paper. Um, I don't remember who it was. But I'll find uh, Chris, Christopher's... Uh, course called Learn Colour. Um, yeah, Nina's good. <laughs> Hi Maya, welcome. I'll just check if I can learn. Yeah, so if you Google learn color, it's just learncoloring.com. Know you in coloring. Um, and uh, he just goes through like different styles of art and how to use markers with those. Um, I haven't actually finished it. I've only done one session in it. So, but, um, I started it after I'd already learnt a lot. So, um, yeah, but <laughs> he's good. I did a, an image from, of his way, way, way back when I first started. Um, he had an individual class of pinup girls, pinup girls and dogs or something it was. And, um, there was this beautiful sheer fabric uh, and I wanted to learn it so I went and brought it and learnt it and it was awesome okay so I've just gradually added in some darker blue as well almost black in some areas which way does this picture go that way <laughs> Which way, which way? Um, and then I think I might go back in with the B23 and just go back over these wings a little bit and add a little bit more color in there. I mean, if you're looking for an actual class, uh, some Sandy Elmock does some awesome marker work. I've also... My light's flickering and it drives me nuts, sorry. Um, I've also done a couple of her things, especially the hex art um, course. So she's got hex art charts where you can chart all your markers and things like that in like a color chart. But she's also got a course called hex, hex art marker challenge or hex art markers. Um, I have actually done a review of the course uh, on my channel. You could just search it and find it there. But um, you do this whole great big sheet of work with all these different techniques in sort of hexagon shapes. It's really quite cool and you can sort of keep it somewhere near your work so that when you are working on something you can sort of go back and check what you know techniques and things that you might be able to use Sandy El Elmock, Elmock however you say it <laughs> um, she has some awesome stuff yeah the guy that you were talking about Loretta uh, he does a lot of watercolor and I'm just blown away by his watercolor techniques amazing I 
think he's looking pretty cool. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Uh, I haven't started. Hi, um, Shannon. I haven't started mine yet either. I've just finished another one that I'm doing at the moment. So. What are you talking about now? I'm lost the radar. <laughs> Oh yes, voodoo. Very cool. Um, okay, so now I've done that, I think what I might do is I'm going to use some pencil. How's that? <laughs> um, in a minute. I've got the colourless blender and what I want to do is I just want to just lightly go over it with the marker this is the water side by the way because I want it to look fuzzy and not precise so I want to desaturate it So I wanted it to look the same, but we want it a little bit lighter and kind of blurred out a little bit, I guess, because of the actual water. <laughs> My colorless blender's nib is stuffed too. It shouldn't bend like that, but it means that the core and the felt part of it, of the outsides actually pulled away. I have another one here somewhere. So I'm just going over it. It's going to really desaturate it. Okay, so now it kind of looks a little bit sort of fuzzy. Also too, with this technique, if you were using Nina, you wouldn't need to go over it so many times with the colorless blender either. And I'm gonna use white. This is my tiny little baby, tiny luminance pencil here that I've got left. And I'm just going to put a couple of lines through it. To make it look like water. Now I want the water to be really pale because uh, we've got the sky in the background here so I want to put a bit of the color of the sky in there as well. Um, so I'm just going to use some B double triple zero sorry and just sort of fill in some of this water here. That's why I decided to use markers because you can use it a little bit paint like. <laughs> paint like, is that a word? Ha! 
Hi, Christine. Welcome. Sorry, I'm missing some of the conversation there. I'm kind of a little bit wee today. <clears throat> we'll just leave it at wee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, using a little bit of Y triple uh, zero. In the sky. Remember to repeat it down the bottom. I'm going to use a little bit of orange. So I'm going to go with Y triple zero. <laughs> I'm not I'm really not seriously not like I don't know don't don't mind me you just go about your lovely conversation and I'll just color I'm happy to do that <laughs> you're all awesome and I thank you all for being here it's really lovely to have people who support you Bit of orange and a little bit at the top here as well so we're going to repeat the same areas Just coming down the side of the birdie there It doesn't look that bright here on the page, but in real life it's a lot brighter. <laughs> oh, thanks, Shannon. <laughs> and Chara, thank you. Using a bit of B double zero. I'm not scared to try stuff. You know, if it doesn't work, most of the marker stuff that doesn't work, if you stick to the lighter colors, you can always go back over it. Um, it's when it comes to using darker colors, it's a little bit harder to fix. You know, <laughs> just a little bit. Don't be afraid. All right, I think I need to do a little bit. I'm going to use the B double zero over the water now. And then I'm going to stick a little bit of some BG, which is blue green. And uh, we'll do the tree trunk later. I'm going to use a little bit of BG 53. Okay, so I can see that this is where the water sort of line is. And then this section here is the actual water as well. But this is the reflection part of it. He'd probably have a bit more of a reflection just directly under that too, but that's okay. Just 
coming around that a little bit. See there's already some white lines already directly in that reflection. I'll go over with the white pencil or white gel pen or paint pen or something later and um, I'll fill that in a bit more. Oh guys, stop it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, I am not the best and I know there are others out there that do awesome jobs. So. <laughs> I've got BG40. just want to blend a little bit of this area out here. I like to um, make sure all the color I've used is sort of blended in nicely and it looks like a gradual sort of lead from one color to the other. I like to, but it doesn't always happen. I've just gone over the birdie a little bit in some areas as well. Now I'm not going to go with this colour up to the top because I want it to look sort of bluer I guess down here on the water. Actually it would be a little bit greener wouldn't it because I'm using blue green. I'm just going over the area of the birdie there, keep those horizontal lines okay it's starting to look really nice now Linda I um I got your picture out too for you to grab it's sitting here Just popped a little bit of that at the top there but mainly kept it down the bottom here it is hard we we're it's actually sort of died off around our area now just having a drink for myself sis <laughs> You guys would have loved last week's stream. Uh, was it Friday stream that a shadow took the center stage in last week's stream? It was really quite hilarious. Uh, she was really having a bit of a moment, I think. Got a little bit of B21. <laughs> she uh, really couldn't handle the fact that I was live, I think. She was really having a hard time. I ended up sort of finishing up fairly early because I just couldn't get her to settle properly. <laughs> she was full on. She was full on having an ADD moment, I think. Yeah. That's what I get like. <laughs> just a little bit psycho. All in fun though. She was enjoying herself. <laughs> it was Friday <laughs> yeah it hasn't rained for so long so I did Abby I swear <laughs> she was definitely on something alright that white pencil's not good enough I need a big one. Bringing out the big guns. Okay. 
I'm going to go Prismacolor. Oh, actually, let's go with Stabilo. So this is a Stabilo Carbothello white pencil, which is chalk pastel pencil. You could use, I don't know, pit pencils, something like that as well. And I'm just going to really highlight those horizontal areas. Pastel pencils are brilliant. Pan pastels, pastel pencils, anything like that. Now when I do the uh, branch here, I'm going to make sure that the bottom section of the branch is a little bit lighter. I want to put some of the reflection from the water up onto it. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to go in with a light layer of E33 and just sort of go around those patchy, mossy bits there too, make them green. I'm being really rough. I don't want the colour to be completely smooth. I'm going to fill it in with other stuff anyway. It would be a waste of markers to just go and try and do all that detail. So on the bottom there. I'm going to do a bit of a reflection of the water. Moving on to the bottom one now. Pen's like running out. Actually, it's a little bit dry. I might keep this one out for later so I fill it up again. <laughs> it's probably one of those ones that's dried up a few times. Just haven't done it. Oh, we're, we're um, in like heat wave weather here. Hi, Beverly. Welcome. I didn't see you before. It is. It's so weird. And it happened about 10 years ago. There was a period of time where we had a whole heap of fires here in Victoria and everyone where else in Australia was like flooding. Um, it's so weird. It's like we go through this cycle every 10 years. Um, I want to put some highlight reflections on the bottom of this. Uh, what do you call it? Log. I'm just going to put some... Oh. Great. My pen ran out. Here it comes. Back again. That's not working. Show me the one that works. Nope. Two throwaways. <laughs> oh yay, we're working. <laughs> okay, now I've got a few lines in. I want to go and deepen up some of the shadows under the lines. So we put one in here. Do 
just gradually adding depth to the water. Bit of that Luminance pencil again. Right. I'm fairly happy with the water looking, starting to look good. Um, I think we might need to have a little bit of a break for a sec. I've got the flip through of this book. I'm Unfortunately, I didn't have time to organize a giveaway for this uh, today's video. So, But I wanted to show you the book anyway. So we'll do a bit of a flip through of it anyway. Um, so hi, Erica. Welcome. Um, yeah. So let me put it on for you and you can have a look and see what you think. Yeah, uh, Christine, it is massive here. We're not very close. Um, actually, I had some friends from the US uh, here and they the thing that they commented the most was they couldn't believe how much time we had to travel between places. Um, but yeah, like me to get to Linda on the other side of, of the bay would take about how many hours, Linda? It's a long time. <laughs> um, so yeah, it is a lot further than people think. We travel a lot here. Lots of commute time. All right, guys, I'm going to put uh, Monu's book on. This is Color. And let me go back to the thing. Color My Dreams One by Monu Gates. Uh, I have popped the link up for the Etsy store. So I'll pop that on now for you and I'll be back. I'll see if I can make myself a cuppa in that time too. <laughs>
again, guys. I didn't get it to make a cuppa. I actually don't feel like it. Um, I'm actually quite warm, so. <laughs> Loretta. Um, yeah, so the reason I really liked it too was because it had some things that were different in it and they weren't all just, you know, people. Um, beautiful book. The watermark's not included on it just in case you thought it was. Um, but yeah, lovely, lovely book. So, I'm going to keep going. Now, I've grabbed some B... 63 again I think I need to sort of uh, make some of these sections here just a little bit darker and make them look a little bit more water like so I think the birdie would be probably a little bit more distorted than it is, but I think that's the best we're going to get with the colourless blender there. And overall, I think it's looking good. This white pastel pencil is just so easy to use. There we go. Maybe a little bit more up here. A little bit more of the B63. My daughter's going to see uh, Captain Marvel, is it? <laughs> the movies today, I'm so jealous. Okay, I think we need to fill in some more of the rock now. I think we've done a fair bit on the water. That looks quite good. Um, I just want to add a little bit more white in there. Create a little bit of a fluffy cloud. And perhaps up here as well. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Paper's so smooth. Let's work on the two streams. Who else are you streaming with? Gosh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh what book are we talking about now? <laughs> I'm completely not with it. Please do ignore my blase attitude today. <laughs> you can tell me off later, okay? Being uh whatever. Okay. 
there with some E15. Oh, <laughs> it's PDF. There is no physical book of that one. So yes, PDF only. Um, the images are kind of like raw sketches too, so um, they're not like, you know, high quality scanned in. They're little like scrapbook type sketches. Some of them are rough and some of them are a little neater, but I don't mind that. I'm using E15. Oh, I've got a video for patrons too, guys. I I finished. I've got a raw video of the rest of the um, Isabel's image that I did last week, and I've also got a color list for you guys as well. I'll try and get it posted up today. Actually, it's already ready to go. Just had the fishy to do first before bringing it out. You can see his little foot in there. I just gave you the link guys. Shall I do it again? Here you go. Can you see my posts? Can you see me typing there? Thank you. Hi Zeely. Coloring Queen, thank you very much and welcome. <laughs> Now Maya, who are you who are you um cheating on <laughs> who are you cheating on me with? <laughs> Maya's in two streams. Being cheated on. <laughs> Just posting it for those that, you know, didn't see it. Here it is again. <laughs> I'm just being cheeky now. <laughs> it's not on Amazon. It's only a PDF book. <laughs> Guys. It's on Etsy. You want me to post it again? <laughs> okay. I'm being incredibly cheeky now. Sorry guys. <laughs> yes, make sure you're on uh, live chat guys because <laughs> you won't be able to see it. Um, look, there it is. I just posted it like right that second. So if you're not in live chat, you won't be able to see it. Yes, Maya, I know, but where where are you? Who who are you cheating on me with? Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, Colour and Queen. I have squeaky chair today. What's Fran doing? <laughs> Are we competing with each other? 
<laughs> uh, let's go with a little bit of um, E39. Just going into the really dark areas now, adding a little bit of depth in there. So sorry for my off behaviour. <laughs> Having one of those days today. Just had a real off-putting morning. And um, it's put me off. You know stuff like that happens and you just get put off for the whole day. <laughs> That's me today. Oh dear. I'm just going over the lines that Monia's already put in there, just creating the darker sections of the wood. I considered doing the little birdies with the piece of wood as well. There was two there that I would have liked to have done, and I will do it one day. Kind of treating this a little bit like hair too. Say hi to Fran. It's so hard when we all stream around the same times. I did try to do a late one, but it didn't seem to be as popular as this time. So here I am back at this time. <laughs> I have a drink. Why would I have a drink? <laughs> oh, Christine, I just like there's this one person that just can't has to make it, you know, a problem and says horrible things about you and you don't even get a chance to sort of defend yourself and people believe it it's just sad i'm not one for gossip so i tend to sort of tell people you know they'll message me and say oh this person you shouldn't have them in your group because they do this and i give the person the benefit of the doubt and just say to the people telling me look you know there's been no problem for me so I won't remove them unless they're a problem but um because there are people like that but yeah this was just just way over the top and it kind of upset me a bit I mean, we're all human and we all tend to say things sometimes that uh, can be taken out of context and I think that's what's happened in this case.
Oh dear, after midnight. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> It is, Christine, it is hard. People just don't. Exactly, um, Colouring Queen. Colouring Queen, who are you? I haven't got you on my thing here. <laughs> I have this list of people and whose their names are. I forget. I'm just so easily forgetful. Um, yeah, so, um, what I, I did actually say something to this person and, um, it, it got taken way out of context and because I've physically typed some words that were similar to that, um, you know, she's got proof that I said what I did, but, um, there's no context. So I don't know, it's just frustrating. And, uh, yeah, it's all good. If anyone hears anything bad, come and tell me. You know, if anyone's got a problem, they should talk to the person they've got a problem with, not just run rumours. Because it's not fair on the other person. Anyhow, let's get over that. Let's try and move on. <laughs> I think the thing is I tried to move on, but it keeps coming back months and months later. It's just like, really? Come on. Just blow it, you know? I gotta go over those lines again because we I just interrupted them. I'm just gonna use paint pen to do that. I guess my advice is just be careful what you say out of annoyance because uh, it'll always come back. <laughs> Thank you so much, Becky. <laughs> As I said, I try not to. Sometimes it just does. But thank you. That means a lot. And I mean, you guys know me. I'm not one to, to you know, you know me. I'm not one to dwell on things. I try to cheer everyone up and, you know, get them to move on. <laughs> How's our water looking? I need to just fill in some of the gaps now on this log. And I'm just going to use a light brown to do that. Just fill out any rough gaps that I've left. And then I'll come in with a little bit of green and uh, fill out those little bits of the mossy stuff. Oop, bit fast then. Oopsies! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Becky. It means a lot. And um, all those out there that have been ridiculed and put down, I know there's a few people I've been messaged about and I've just gotten up, sorry. But until that person does something wrong, you know, to me, I'm not going to hold that against them. Mm. 
<laughs> and I'm sure this video will get some more of that. Ah, <laughs> uh, my E51's running out too. I'll put that aside. Fill it up after. I'm going to just go with E53. It's just a little bit darker. It's okay. The lovely Anne from uh, Colourful Life Group. I so know where she's coming from and uh, she's a beautiful lady too. And she's just done so well since leaving Facebook and leaving all that negativeness behind. Good on her. Okay, I'm happy with the logs. I think they're good. Blended it all out. Let's add some moss in there. And I think I need to add something a little bit brighter into the sky. Maybe uh, a little bit of Y11. Something a little bit brighter. Little retail therapy. I was actually talking to my husband about retail therapy last night. I said maybe I should do like a, a spender $200 or something at... An online store and then we could do a bit of a haul video that'd be fun because you know who knows I'd love to spend money like that <laughs> I'm just adding a little bit more yellow into the top section just a little bit brighter Which side of the tape? Oh gosh, I'm getting confused of the mirror now. <laughs> bit of, like I need a little bit more. I think I'm going to go a lighter, uh, next darker level up from the YR00. So I've got YR00. I had YR00 before, I think. No, triple. I've got double now. Just brightening it up a little bit. Brightening up our day so we're not quite so dull. Just, you know, you've cheered me up, so I've got to make the picture a bit more cheery. There we go. That's a little bit better. Just blending out the cloudy bits there. Making them a little bit whiter, I think. So now I've kind of done all my base. I'm trying to do some of the, uh, I guess, the details next. And uh, I need to do this. What is this actually? <laughs> I'm not sure. It looks like a basket or something. Any ideas? Use some E15. Kind of looks like that's got like cross hatch sections in it, like it's a basket or something. But I'm not sure. Any thoughts, people? I'll lean back a bit so you can see it. I got no idea. Bacon. <laughs> Bacon is making your heart better. It doesn't bacon make your heart bad. I don't know. <laughs> Christine, are you getting fought over? <laughs> ah. 
<laughs> She's a darling, Christine is. Absolutely beautiful. She's a ham sandwich. <laughs> Bacon. I love bacon too. It reminds me of Homer Simpson. Yes, Christine, that is a very wise words. This is really weird. <laughs> well, Maya, it's your fault. You're watching two streams. <laughs> cake <laughs> <laughs> how did you end up a ham sandwich I'm lost <laughs> how does that even happen Christine hi Wendy <laughs> oh, cool. oh dear what what is the world coming to bacon that's what it's coming to Are you aching? Yep, yep, yep. It's a big pig. You can be a big pig too. Lion King. Does anyone know what this is? Because it's not bacon. What is this basket thing? Somebody, please tell me, because it's not bacon. <laughs> it looks like a basket or something. It's got like a weaving on the, on the side. You know, someone will tell me what it is and I'll be like, oh, yeah, it is too. But right now I'm looking at it going, what is this thing? <laughs> So Sean, should I should I show them my my finished product or should I wait till you've done yours? Are you still there? You're not seeing it. Okay, no worries, Christine. Really crispy bacon next to the post. <laughs> really something. It's a packet of chips, crisps, I don't know. If it was bacon, I probably shouldn't be doing it this colour. <laughs> no idea. No idea. Me neither. This is the E53 again. I'm just softening it all off. Actually, I think I used all of these browns in a previous image and I haven't refilled them all because this one's dead too. That happens. <laughs> I'm just going to use some B000 on the bottom. And get in my little blue tinge of colour. wavy and uh, a little bit more white because we've got these white lines here the water reflection also too I just realized I covered over some of the water reflection on the log so I'm just going to go over that too just add that in a little bit more 
The other one that I'd printed out to do was the um, dolphin one, but I decided to go with this one. I don't know why. Just sort of, you know, what happened? <laughs> Michael <laughs> Thank you, Christine. Okay, so you guys so something happened, Christine. And Lulu thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah, I printed the dolphin one, I'll show you. I'm not doing it though, not right now, but I can show you. This is the dolphin one. So you probably you saw it in the book. Yeah, I um I don't know why I decided not to do it. There was a reason. <laughs> there was a reason. I will do it one day. Okay, I'm really not liking that gel pen. Where's another one? might have to throw that one away let's try this one. Oh yay this one works that's just brilliant yeah the other one wasn't working at all just a bit of reflection off the water Just going through the birdie a little bit as well. Well, it's much better when you've got a working gel pen. Look at that. It's brilliant. <laughs> I'm a shocker. <laughs> I'm a shocker. It's all good. <sighs> yeah. It doesn't work by me. <laughs> now, um, we've got some little bits of, uh, what is this called? Moss. I'm just going to colour that in green. I've got YG17. I'm going to dab it in. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, 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 dab. Trying to go into the very edges of it a little bit darker so it looks like there's a bit of depth in there. But really just dabbing. Dab, 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 dab. Dab, 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 dab. Now there's a foot there. I need to fix the foot. Uh, maybe just a bit of grey. T6. Just on the foot there. That will do. And I'll put a little bit of a highlight on there with the working gel pen. There we go. Oh, and there needs to be a dot in the eye while I'm at it. Dab, 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 dab. Back with the YG17. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit sporadic, aren't I, today? You guys have been awesome. Wonderful guests. Loved having you all. <laughs> Love having you all. Uh, dab, 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 dab. I can see his grey foot again on this side. Oh, Pickle, hi. How are you? Jody, Jody. Thanks, Helen. <laughs> so you, um, I've been sort of whinging a little bit today and uh, sending my sincere, you know, 
apologies and um, thank and thanks as well because you've all been awesome. It's so nice to have such wonderful people around in this community. And majority of the community is fantastic and wonderful and everybody's sharing and giving and like look at us colour streamers. We're all like supportive of each other and you know there's no animosity and there's a little bit there's a little bit of competition, but I think that's healthy. <laughs> I think that's healthy. <laughs> it's those that get mean about it. That's not healthy. <laughs> um, and we've got YG03. Isn't that right, Sean? There's a little bit of healthy, healthy competition going there, right? <laughs> Thanks, Susie. Oh, I hate hospitals. I just uh, never sleep in them. They're so noisy. Uh, I, when I had my hysterectomy, I had some complications afterwards and ended up back in hospital. And the only room they had was the hyperbaric chamber. Is that what it's called? Anyway, it's a room that's completely pressurized. Um, and uh, it's also like for you know, really ill people, they sort of, it's got its own circul circulation thing and, you know, like there's nothing from the outside that can get into this room. But the system thing that produces the air was so noisy. I was like, get me out of here by two, day two. Like, seriously, I'm not going to get any sleep. And then you've got nurses coming in and out every hour. It's great fun. So any distraction I can give, I'm quite happy to give, my dear Susie. I'm dabbing again, by the way, and I'm using YG03. Did I say that before? And my camera is bumping around because I'm dabbing, letting my frustrations out. <laughs> dab, dab, dab. Maybe it might be. I don't know what it is. It looks, it could be something that's fallen into the water or I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit of like of a dock or something or a part of a hat, hut for a house or. Something like that. Oh, this is another marker that's going to need refilling after today. Completely dying. Here we go. What do we think? I think he's on par. gel pen I'm gonna do some little nope that's a broken one <laughs> that's the broken one now you see the it's two bird no it's one bird with a reflection in the water looking pretty good and I actually got it finished I was a little bit worried that we weren't going to get it finished but um it seems we did so that's good just going to put some little flecks of light in the birdie's tail and areas there. And uh, just going to keep putting in these reflections. A little bit over the shadow here. I think I'm good. I think I like that. 
I do think that the clouds or something here need something. A bit of white again. But um, I quite like that the sky is not defined well. I think it looks nicer. This is just the Stabilo Chalk Pencil 2 that I'm using now. Very simple, very simple. Just going under some of these uh, white lines, just pushing them forward a little bit. And then I think we're done. So we've got Heather again on Friday. We'll do another flip through and another giveaway. I'm not sure what book yet. I have to have a look. There's a special Christmas one there that I haven't done before. So I might do that one. just in time for any Christmas in July events that may come up <laughs> and as I said I'm going to post up that um, last week's Isabel's image from last week to patrons so you guys can uh, check out the colour list and I've done a conversion chart because Alicia was so kind to uh, follow along with us last week and write the colours down. Now I'm not sure if she did get to today because uh, she left for uni a little later than normal. Um, so I may not be able to get to it but I'll let you guys know anyway. But we will do that. And I'm just talking to myself and can't see the chat too busy concentrating all right i think i'm happy all right who have we got oh i butchered that what <laughs> who butchered what dawn thank you thank you dusty very much for dropping in <laughs> mm, thanks christine Thanks, Wendy. Thanks, Nana. Night, Rochelle. Oh, you're all awesome. Big thank you to Becky for today's uh, super chat and lifting our spirits. <laughs> you're awesome. Bye, Helen. And thank you for putting up with my sookiness today. Um, I swear I won't be sooky on Friday. <laughs> We'll get back into it as usual. Oh, she's there. Look, Alicia, she's here. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, my dear. Um, <laughs> Katie, no problems. Okay, Linda, I'll be here. I'm just trying to clean today uh, and uh, get some videos out for patrons so I did <laughs> oh Becky I'm so sorry <laughs> see I'm totally not with it today <laughs> night Wendy bye Shara thank you so much for dropping in Hi Rosa, we're just about to finish up. <laughs> no worries, Shannon. Look at it. It ended up pretty, pretty good. I'm quite happy with it. It's a little bit softer than I thought that it would be, but 
I'm happy with it. I'll scan it up and I'll pop it up on the social media as well so you guys can see it. And um, I will see you next time. I will pop in the link. So Money Gates book is here on Etsy. I'm posting it now. And also while I'm at it, let me post some other group links and things. So this is uh, Monia's group there and also I'll pop her Instagram up and you can follow her on Instagram that would be awesome also make sure you like this video too guys and um, subscribe if you haven't already here is all of her links oh wait I gotta show you something don't I <laughs> wait Ready? So I finished this beauty last night and this kind of lifted my spirits up a little bit too, finishing this off. So thank you so much, Sean, for uh, for suggesting another colour along or buddy colour. Um, I really enjoyed doing this one. We decided to do a bit of a challenge and make it mixed media. So I've used acrylic paint, distress inks, pan pastels, Copic markers, polychromos, uh, a little bit of paper and some material down here. Uh, use a bit of everything but she's a beauty. But uh, that one will be a few weeks away and, and uh, I hope to see Sean soon too. He said he was going to start it. So <laughs> um, I just wanted to sort of you know inspire him a little bit too. Because you did such an awesome job on the other colour along image from Yana. So. It was loads of fun. I really enjoyed doing it. Uh, the video is going to be a little hard for patrons, but I'll try to explain what I did as much as possible. <laughs> it's a beautiful image. Um, that's the second one I've done out of the Mysteria book. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. It is a larger book though, so the images are quite big, so I can see where they could be a little daunting. Um, that's why I ended up using markers as a base. Thanks, Janet. Thanks, guys. I will see you all next time. See you Friday. We'll be back to do some more of the Heather Valentine image. Oh, you did, Linda. It's lovely. All right, guys. Thanks again so much.